So in this video, we will see what are containers and layout and how to use them in SAP UI 5. So let's just see the agenda for this session. First, I will just give you a brief overview of what container is and I will just explain an example of container that is icon tab bar control and then we will see what is layout is and we will see an example of layout that is simple form and afterwards we will just give an example of all these containers and layouts using a SAP UI5 application itself. So moving on to the next slide that is containers overview. So what are containers? Containers are special controls which could contain other controls with, within it or maybe even other containers itself within under con container itself. And the most, most prominent and the most often used are page control, sc scroll container, split container, panel and icon tab bar. So you could see here an example of icon tab bar here. So this is how it looks an icon tab bar. So this is the text property here and this is the count property here. I will just show you here the code, code example here. So here you could see here this is the code example. First I have opened the icon tab bar. This is the controller itself. So for that I will need to write sap.m dot icon tab bar. Then I have provided the properties that is id, uppercase and expanded. So I have provided the id a string that is id icon tab bar fury2 something like this and uh, uppercase is true and the expanded is device is no phone and the class is sap ui responsive content padding. So this is a predefined class that I have used here. SAP has already provided a predefined class. Now in the icon tab bar I have this items and within this items I have icon tab filter. So icon tab filter provides two properties here that is text and the count. So in the text I have used as info and the count is 3. So in the previous slide here the text was info and the count was 3. So similarly I have written there. So here you could see the text is info and the count is 3. Now I have provided this particular set of icon tab filter. Similarly I have provided other 3 or 4 icon tab filters here. And then afterwards I have ended the icon tab filter and items also have been entered and at the last icon tab filter is also ending. Now moving on to the next slide that is the layouts overview. So what are layouts? So UI5 has provided several other layout controls that can be used within this con container itself. The, it is used to arrange the controls according to the user's requirement. So there are most prominent and most often used these are flexbox, hbox that is horizontal layout, vbox which is the vertical layout and the, there is this form, grid and the simple form. So there is, there is, this is the example on simple form. This is how a simple form looks like and this here I have provided the title, there is this label and there is this input field. Similarly, there are multiple uh, controls here. So this is the coding for this. So I have used the namespace as f. So f is basically sap.ui.layout.form and dot a simple form. So I have provided the properties here that is id and the string is id simple form change. The title is address and within this I have provided the content and the contents are label input, label input, label input. So these pairs are like this. So label the text is coming from the i18 and the name is name, the property is name. So similarly for input the, the uh, it is binding through the JSON model. So address is the name. Uh, the ID provided to the JSON model and the name is the property itself. So similarly I have defined the input label pairs here and afterwards I have closed the content and similarly I have closed the simple form also. So let us now move to the next slide. Here I have explained the example of simple containers and layout. For that I have just created a new SAP UI5 project and then I have used a particular container that is icon tab bar and within this icon tab bar I am def defining a particular controls and then this was the example for the container. Similarly I have used a particular layout and that layout is simple form and within this simple form I am using labels and input controls. So basically what I have done here using the simple form I am explaining the SAP UI5 layout con control. 
and when this all these steps are been ex explained now you can see the practical demonstration now here we will be taking a look at the containers and layouts in SAP UI5 and for that we will just take a look at SAP UI5 explode section here so I, I have already opened it now let's just type in containers so these are all the container that SAP UI5 open offers so here we will be taking a look at icon tab bar so this is icon tab bar so let me just show you a sample of it so here you can see the icon tab bar here now we will implement this icon tab bar in SAP UI5 so first let's, let me just create a new project here from the template so this is the UI5 application I will just click on next um, I will just give the name as containers and layout or maybe something demo project 3 here also demo project 3 this is the namespace next next and finish now I will just create a new icon tab bar functionality in demo project 3 as an example of containers in SAP UI5 and for that what I will do I will just open the view here so this is the view view one dot view dot XML file here and in the content I will just write the code for icon tab bar so I have this code with me I will just copy and paste it here copied it here I will just right click and beautify it so I will just make you understand what is it so here I have used this icon tab bar control and I have given the ID as ID icon tab bar let me just show you so this is here so let's just take a look at the properties and here you could see these are all the properties of icon tab bar and within this icon tab bar we will be using so this is the aggregation that is items if we just see the aggregation we could see the items so it is written that the cardinality is 0 to n that is n number of controls we could use in the items so here here it is and within the items we have used icon tab filter let me just show you icon tab filter so here we can see here icon tab filter so it is not here if I just write it here in the Google SAP dot m dot icon tab filter so here we could see there is this SAP dot m dot icon tab filter if I just click on it and if I just want to see the properties so these are all the properties of icon tab filter that is count, show, icon, icon color, visible, design, everything is here so we have defined the id as icon tab 1 and the text as icon tab filter 1 and within this icon, let me just first show you how, it, how the output looks like here I have saved this now I will just run it so basically there would be two icon tab bars and uh, sorry two bar uh, tabs here and the first one would be empty the second one would also be empty itself now then we will just paste some code here between this and between this also so here we could see this is the icon tab filter 1 this is the icon tab filter 2 so if I just click on it if I just click on it once more so this closes so these are and now we will just place some random code here random control like a text itself or a maybe label and for that what I will do just write it here itself so text again text this is the property of the text control so I have written this 
now if I just save this and rerun the application here again so there is some error no I will just save this I will just run the application here and this text would appear here in the icon tab filter one So my connection was interrupted, I don't know why. I will just rerun the application again. Okay, here it is. So the icon tab filter, this is the first one that is hello world. Then in the second icon tab filter, there is nothing. So if we mention something in the second icon tab filter, we could get that particular data in the second icon tab filter. So this was the concept of containers. So basically containers consist of controls itself so they contain a controls and now the second concept that we will be talking here is about the layouts let's see what all layouts SAP UI5 UI5 offers so let's just type in layouts so these are all the controller containers and here start the layouts so there are block layout dynamic side layout fix flex flex box form simple form so we have already covered the simple form in the previous video it was an example of layout itself but for just for a change here I will use this flex box here I will use the example of flex box as a as an example of layout con concept and for that I will just write the layout here itself I have the code for it copy I will just paste it here within the second icon tab bar I will just beautify it okay that's done now now I am getting some error here that is unexpected namespace L so this namespace is not defined in my program so what I will do I will just define this namespace for that I will just write xmlns colon l and which would be equals to sap dot ui dot layout that's it and now this namespace is defined and I am not getting the error here so I will just explain it to you so this was our first icon tab filter where we were getting this hello world message and in the second filter we were not getting anything that's why we just placed this bit of code here so what it, what it is so there is this vertical layout here and within the layout we have placed this content this is an aggregation of the vertical layout and then we have placed, placed a panel and in the panel, panel we have placed this header toolbar and inside the header toolbar we are using toolbar and inside this toolbar we have given this title here so you would remember from the responsive table lesson that we have used this portion header toolbar where we have placed the search field in the toolbar itself so this is okay so within the panel we have given the header toolbar then within the panel itself we have also given this flex box this much portion and total we have given this much so what is this flex box doing here it is a con layout itself so which consists of three buttons and all three buttons I have text one two three and all are different type so one is this emphasized one one is this reject type one is of accept type and we have already defined the classes this so all are these these all are the margins that are predefined classes within the SAP UI5 so let me just tell you once again so we have we are using here vertical layout here and within the layout we have used this aggregation content and within the content we are using panel and panel and within the panel we are using two controls that is header toolbar and flex box the header toolbar should come up upside to the flex box and there in the header toolbar we should get a title and 
in the flex box we should get these but three buttons so I hope you are clear we have closed all the flex box panel content and vertical layout and at last we have also con we have also closed this particular icon tab filter so this was our second icon tab filter the first one was this and at last we have closed the icon tab bar also so that's it I will just save this and here if I just run it again first by default icon tab filter 1 would be selected and that text would appear here and when I just click on this the three buttons would appear here it is so this was the title that we have already given here in the header toolbar this was the first one and this was the second the title level was 2 and the text was layout example and the, in the flex box we are getting three buttons here so I hope you have you are already clear with the co two concepts that is containers and layouts so that's it for this video thanks for watching